It doesn't look very old. Yeah, he got shot in the shoulder. Okay, I guess yeah. when you need it, you need it. Is that a slaughter? It looked like he just threw him. Up, oh, I would have actually went, assumed a different thing. He's dead. Okay. All right, there we go. He's dead. Ah. There we go. There were more on the level above. We need to get up there. And we will. A frying pan? That looks like a frying pan. I guess she's got to open it for no particular reason. We should clear the second floor. Why do I have to? Okay. That was what well, was weird. Everything to your liking thus far? Quite. Indeed. Although I do hope that was only the beginning. You got shot. He's fast. And they say chivalry isn't dead. Or is dead. I don't know what they say at this time. Is it? I do. I do kind of like that. Oh Jesus! Jesus. Shit. Oh, this thing actually has burst. All right. There we go. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, nope, nope, never mind. Okay, can't do anything with that. Ah, uh, this way. Okay. Oh no no back up back up not what I want to do Nice old game of billiards Oh gotta be a little more careful now I need to reload. You do that then Ah Damn it 
I don't feel like the auto aim is actually really helpful. Ah, it's a console thing. I guess. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. What I just said. I mean, it is a console thing. They don't have... I mean, I auto aim, I think, is actually on some PC stuff, but it shouldn't be. If it is. I don't know who that is. You're joking. Is there a single woman in this city you won't try to seduce? There's your problem now. Do try not to lag behind. Is she jailing. Ah, monsieur. Uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis. Your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Oh, Marquis, you mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. I'll never wash this glove. I don't. I don't know if they ever did. Like, unless they got like dirty. Fetching, was she not? I haven't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passion. I know. I... Passion, <laughs> a man cannot fight. We do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté. Live free, I guess, maybe. Percival. Strange. Is it? I'm very confused what he meant by he's an American Frenchman. Like, usually just saying French for a British person, like that's an insult, and then I assume American's not a compliment, but like, what is it? I don't know, I don't... Like, I know what they mean, like how they think of Americans now, and basically how they think of French people now, but I don't really know back then. Marquis. 86. I don't know. I might have to have that explained to me. I'm, I'm still, I'm still, I'm also still caught up on it because I have no idea. I, I, what did he mean? <laughs> I'm not insulted. I could care less, but like, I'm just confused. Uh, okay, nothing in here. Can we open this door? Maybe. Nope. All right though. Yeah, I mean, I like I like the art and I like the graphics. Um, I guess it, as long as it stays more on the side of like of action and less of the you know quick time and stuff, I'll be happy. Although I know it won't. Uh, um, at least I know there's a lot of quick time in it. Cause I guess that's what they meant by cinematic. <laughs> oh, I guess I gotta go that way. I mean, I could go through that little box, but I can't help but think I wouldn't really get anywhere. What the hell? Oh, am I supposed to climb this, or? I guess so. Now, I'm pretty sure this game runs at, like, what, 24 frames? I had a feeling I'd beat you here. But you didn't. You We're, like, literally both at the same, like, place. I feel like she should be, like, a lot faster than me. Because, like, yeah, the youth thing. 
She also just seems lighter. I don't know. She's, she's wearing like a lot. Also, this is going on. Okay. There you go. Oh, I guess you got to stab him in the heart. Fair enough. Makes sense. Do they... They do! Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was my bad. I got distracted by Shiny. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, it's just a roll. Oh, God. I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> there you go. Just a right. It's all right. It's all over, friend. Uh, I stabbed him in the back. I'm Monsieur, what happened? I slew most of them. The last one got away. The grain, I need your outcome. I'll head up to Holy crap. You two go that way and head him off. Understood. Through that door? <laughs> All right. How do you know that he went this way? Like, I mean, ne never mind. I, I, I kind of know how he knew. I missed. I kind of want to... Aww. Okay, I guess I got pressed again. My bad. Yeah. We need to press forward. I mean, yeah. Alright. Where is he is? There we go. Oh, he's dead. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half breeds. Rendezvous back at Breach. Acknowledge. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Instead of the catacombs, we'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. Watch out. Purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence could be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the Rebellion, and then this Jack, and the Ripper murders, and then this. Oh, okay. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see. We meet in council two days hence. 
If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Might be London traffic. Mon General, what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis, nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur les nouveaux continents. Votre témérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed by your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. Precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the council. <clears throat> Technically, she's a dame. She's not a, she's not a knight. Oh, wait. Or is dame like sir? I think dame's like sir. Never mind. Has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? So that is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion. The rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Of course, look how many curls he has. Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. So, oh wait, had to listen to them. Okay, so it's it's like people seem to be are probably going to be mostly split. Uh, oh, I like that. So, learn some neat things. So, this takes place in like obviously like a split reality. We like so they've got Jack the Ripper referenced in it. 
but there's lichen throw also, and they're not they're not generally. Oh, we also just learned that. That makes sense. That makes sense. She's the uh, was she the only woman in the order? I bet it's because. And then people go like, oh, it's just because she's the chancellor's daughter. And then, like, it's like, no, but she's really skilled. And, and it's just that. But it's like, no, I doubt it. And that's, and that's what it's like. I have a more pressing matter to attend, as you wish. How many of us will meet the journey to America? Uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch? Sir Lucan. It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Yes, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Mr. Felton. Alistair, you know as well as I do. To everything. My opinion is immaterial. The council has spoken. Few dead countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! You think him see reason? You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially official. You have my thanks, sir. Well, your thanks I have no need. Any results? Does the Knight Commander wish it? Well, we're going in. Most excellent. You're not talking about Whitechapel, but my Your pa brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. To secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, Is that what happened? Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is a Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? Oh. Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I will not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. I don't know what that means. Just some gobbledygook. <laughs> has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. Do we not like him? Well, I can't tell. This is him a bad guy. So, I, I, I don't know. If what I said earlier, since they're adopted, it would seem like it would mean less. But I guess it shouldn't. But that's not, like, how the world, I would think, worked back then. But then again, like I was saying earlier, I'm going to actually kind of just walk around. We can enjoy the the art uh, of the game and the graphics and the, the frame rate, which is all right, I guess, whatever. It's a console game. But, um, like, so it's got, like, King Arthur seems to sort of be almost of, like, less of a uh, myth. And more of a, um, like, actual historic character. Like, because, you know, the whole thing about King Arthur, if, as I understand it, is that it's that more than likely he didn't exist. Like, he may have been based on somebody, but, like, you know, he's mostly just, like, a legend kind of thing. But I, th I think in this world it's more of, like, he's not a legend. But he's a legend, but he's, like like, a real one, I guess. So, that's neat. And then obviously they've got like the different weapons. I there wasn't. I don't think there were semi-automatic rifles um, at the time of in the 1800s. 
19th century. Maybe though. But I don't think. Well, they didn't have that one, guys. Hmm. Yeah, I'm wrong. I think they, they probably. They had semi automatic weapons. They definitely did. Now I think about it. Any further news of the trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans. On the United India Company's front doorstep. What do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what that means. Permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around. Uh, play with whatever strikes your fancy. But do be careful. Okay. Science guy. What we got? Quite an antique. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. That looks crazy dangerous. <laughs> like, I, I, you put that that copper right to your like right to your ear. Oh, I guess I can't look at that. What else can I look at? Um, maybe this? Nope. I'm guessing sniper rifle. Why not sniper rifle, just rifle rifle. Probably. Oh, we got another thing to read. Oh, no, these are blueprints. Yeah. Plump and petite. Present this. Huh. I guess was that like a uh, a brothel or is that a? I guess that was like a brothel. I didn't actually read. All right, it just seemed like it was advertising women. So I assumed brothel. But it could have been a um a, a hostess club, I guess. I don't know. If they had those in um in late nineteenth century London though. I don't think they have them in Nicola. them now. Your friend Edison these days. Oh, holy crap, this is Tesla. Not on speaking terms. The man huh. is an idiot. I, di I, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't pick up. Uh, if, if only there was like a whole bunch of like obvious things. To show that this was supposed to be Nikola of Tesla. I'm because of all the coils, that, that's the joke. Please, this way. Yeah. You want me to like walk this way? Walk that way. Something you may find interesting. Just give you a kiss. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternate current. Oh, yeah. And for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. All right. Uh, yeah. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Yeah, sure. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Ah, no puzzle. Uh, okay. Or not. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what do I gotta do? Oh, okay, sir. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest business. I call it the Tesla car. Six eighty four Marksman carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. 
Pleasure. Pleasure. Yep, gotta give it my, uh, gotta give it my, you know, a little bit of shaky. Yeah, okay. 